What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is Thursday. We got the crew here today. It's me and it's Brett and it's Roxy, and we are doing a show. It's called The Big Thing Show, and we have a lot of things to talk about. Dune 2. Yeah, you've seen my review at this point. You've seen my ad of the theater at this point, and you've seen the reviews at this point. They are out of control. Now, by the time of this taping, they're at something like 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm going to ask the same question that I did with the same crew that was here last time when we were talking about Top Gun Maverick. Is it really that good? We're going to talk about that today on the show. Also, other things that we talked about, there was uh, Marvel has been talking about how they're going to change the whole creative. There's a little bit more detail now exactly what that creative is, so we'll get into that. So we'll be doing that. We'll also have Roxy's take on some of the uh, TV shows, and also, I knew it, there are some other things we were going to talk about, and that was the date itself. Roxy dropped something, and so she is right now... <laughs> that looked so bad. That looked so bad. <laughs> that looked so bad. Anyway, and we'll we'll do that and more on the show. She was struggling to find it too. <laughs> that's that's bad on my part. She was really having a hard time finding it. <laughs> I cannot wait. I I'm even. I want to show this. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna actually even stop it to show. Show it before we even go. Where is it? Where is it? All right. Anyway, hit that subscribe oh. button. Get us to 200,000. Roxy will be happy to know that currently at the moment we are at 129,218. So we're moving, grooving, we're shaking, we're baking. So, all right, let's get to it, everybody. It's the big thing. Here we go. I have to show you that. I have to, I have to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Big Thing Show. It's myself, Christian Harloff, Roxy Stryer, <laughs> Brett Sheridan. That was hilarious. Apparently, the show's now called The Small Thing. Yeah. <laughs> when Brett hosts. Uh, I was afraid she was going to hit her head. I kept like, uh, like, I'm like, be careful. But then uh, the hand, I'm like, oh, this doesn't <laughs> That was one of the best. I was like, what's going on over there? And I didn't even realize that when I switched, I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, uh, that was hilarious. There's my mic cord. It got stuck in the wheel. <laughs> That's going to be the, the uh, one. We've been trying to go viral on this show yep, for a long done. time. This is going to be the one. The way you like, like a, uh, I was legit scared you were going to donk uh, your head. I'm going to get canceled. This. He's like, no, no, really? stop. Really? Really? Uh, He's the one that gets that? Really? <laughs> After all the Instagram posts of people telling me not to show up and not to do this and not to that, and, 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 I, and I stay back for a second, and Brett's the one? Real nice, Roxy. Real nice. Yeah, I just was trying to get as canceled as humanly possible, so, oh, so, so I went for him. Yeah, the best was him going like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, am I that repulsive? <laughs> Jesus. No, I seriously, oh. I was afraid you were going to no. hit your head on the table. I wasn't. No. The dad and me kicked in. <laughs> so good. So good. Well, Roxy did, um, I guess that's a good transition from that moment. How mm -hmm. was the day? Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't seen him in a while, Christian. Uh, yeah. The date was, you know what? <laughs> I thought the date was awesome. No phone call? Oh. Man, okay, this is this was a good one mm -hmm. because I texted you like you asked you me to. You did. I think I said like a four point one or right, something. and I was and I was I did say out of five, but I was confused at the time. I was like out of ten. Yeah, no, out, so, out of oh, five. five right. I thought this guy was awesome. Right. He was so sweet, so charismatic, really cool. The conversation just flowed. We went to two different spots. Like we were at one place, then we went to a second location, um, and. At the end of the night, I was positive. I was like, oh, I'm definitely seeing this guy again. Like, he was just awesome. Yeah. And then nothing. N not nothing. Okay. So that was Thursday. Okay. It was his birthday on Saturday, and he was going out of town with his family to mm. celebrate. Okay. So I texted him for his birthday. I didn't hear from him Friday, which I do like a text the next day. It's not necessary. We liked, we liked this guy because he was, he was so, so quick. good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So on Saturday, I texted him because it was his 
30th yeah. birthday. Okay. Um, so he's younger than me too, which sometimes is like, mm-hmm. you know, but it was his 30th. So I was like, I'm not gonna not text him for his birthday. We just had this great night. We spent like five hours together. Um, and so I texted him this, I thought really thoughtful text message for his birthday. And he responded um, okay. and was like, thank you so much. And then now it's Thursday. So it's been so a week that, since our date. So maybe this didn't vibe. Well, I don't know because it was so like, there's no way I'm, I'm not a moron with this mm-hmm. stuff, despite popular belief. <laughs> um, I know if I'm vibing with somebody, mm-hmm. I know that we vibed. He actually stopped in the middle of the date and gave this like, really beautiful cheers about how he was like, you don't meet that many genuine people out here and I'm just so unbelievably grateful mm-hmm. to have met you. You are so great. Um, and then his his best friend is the one who set us up. Yeah. She texted me the next day, said Friday, it, said it went good. and said, how did it go? Oh. So I know she must have talked to him because they're way closer. Yeah. Otherwise, she wouldn't have texted me. Right. And I wrote back like a glowing review and she was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Can't wait. Like, but then I, ha- I don't know. Maybe he's just been busy for his birthday, out of town with his family. Reading but into a, it too much. I don't think. Th- I don't think so though, because it's been a week. Yeah. And that's a long time mm-hmm. to not say anything to somebody yeah. after a first date. Well, as, as this is the new man in the picture, how do you yeah. feel? Well, I, you know, I think, uh, you know, if, if your skills were as good as they were earlier, uh, <laughs> no, that's a week is a lot. A week is a lot. You and guys I think right, like that's a long time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. And then to be so vague on or, or so just oh, thank you. No, no, he wrote something. Not, I, 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 I can read it to nah, you guys, but right. it was like essentially, I he went to go see um, you two at the Sphere. Oh. So I, at, but beforehand he was like, I don't even know if I know that many of their songs. And I was like, what? They have every hit. So I was singing all these hits. So when I texted him, I was like, <laughs> I, when I texted him, I was like, hope you know recognize more songs than you thought. Whatever. And he was like. You two, uh, I've been listening to them all day. They're amazing, super underrated, okay. like you right, said. Right. Thank you for the text. So, like, he did Maybe write a underrated little more. to the younger generation. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say no, super. Um, I Under- underrated them, oh, is what oh, he oh, said. Oh, yeah, oh, they're not okay. not to me. I've seen them in concert before. I'm a you diehard know, YouTube. I've never fan. seen them. I really? Know, so I really need. I saw them at the Rose Bowl. Was sick. I'm supposed to go anyway. Sick. Well, I'm sorry that didn't work out. for Do you, you. think no? You know, it's it, the waiting for that long is probably not the best sign. Just yeah. being honest, but we'll okay. see. Well, look. Okay, well, know. it is what it is. At least it was a good date. We yeah. had so much yeah, fun. I haven't had a good first date. date in a while. Right. So, it, like, all's well that ends well. It's sure. not like he owes me anything right. after a first date, but I was super happy to have a normal person. Conversation, too. Yeah. yeah, good for you. He was just really right. lovely. So, like you said, you saw, you took the positives out of it. For sure. It was, he was nice. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Good start already to the show. We got a date story, and there was, that was my favorite. You know what? It's, you can tell who new listeners of the show are. And all and older listeners started the way that the new listeners' uh, comments come in now when they go, well, do we want to hear about a dating story? And then I had, <laughs> I had so many people that say have said to me, you know, first when you guys start doing the dating stories, I didn't know if I was into it, I and know. then now I look forward to it all the yeah. time. So I saw They're somebody. Invested. I saw somebody recently going, "What am I listening to this girl's dating stories for?" And I'm like, "New person." <laughs> I'm like, you know, new, "New person." You don't know what you want to hear. Yeah, it's, we know <laughs> what you want to hear. We know. And that's the whole point with Thursday. This is the beauty of Thursdays now is that we have so many different uh, different shows this week. The Thursdays can be a little bit more loose, but we do have quite a few different topics to talk about here today. And here's the first one. All right. Dune 2. As we were talking about, as you saw in the topic, people are raving about it, including yours truly. Dune Part 2. The reviews came in yesterday. The review embargo dropped. Response is superb, with some calling it the first awards caliber major film of the year. 90 reviews thus far. This is, again, recording this on Wednesday, so who knows by Thursday what it's at. But it's at, currently, 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. A rather incredible number and considerably higher than its multiple Oscar-nominated predecessor, which was at 83%. Of those, 90%. Only three were negative. Sampling of the reviews... Uh, a sci-fi epic of the ages. Villeneuve has outdone himself. Alonzo Duralde, after somewhat pa- uh, placing those chess pieces on the board in the first Dune, Villeneuve and co-screenwriter John Spade send them into strategic alliances and conflicts, and the results are often breathtaking. Just uh, as a reminder, I love Alonzo. He just doesn't know who I am. That's right. <laughs> yes, he does not. Um so it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, as it should. Now, Brad, I forget. Mm-hmm. Did you see the first one? 
I have not, and my wife keeps asking me to watch it, and here's my issue. It, is this going to... Do you think they'll put it in theaters again so I can see it? They just put it in theaters last month. Perfect. So uh, <laughs> uh, d- it's possible. I mean, we have a 48-inch television, and I feel like that's not going to really give this... Uh, you're you're not wrong, but yeah, but he's not going to bring Lonnie over here. Why? To, I mean, you can. You want to... Yeah. You you rent out the studio. Let's do it. Rent it out. Rent it out. <laughs> That's all right. you know, I didn't mean to push you rent it out. Yeah. How much yeah. are you going to make off of them? Exactly. Um, I mean, you can if you want to come over here and watch it. But uh, but it's um, I don't want to lie to you and tell you, nah, you'd be fine watching yeah. on a laptop or something. <laughs> it's like it, it's it needs to be watched on something awesome. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a nice. It's it's the same it's brand nice. as this one. It's an OLED. You should you know. get a projector. Oh, uh, I have a projector you can borrow. Well, our our living room is very Doesn't short. Work. That's why well, the television works. is so small. <laughs> right. Maybe we just sit really close to it. You could do that too. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I've got a great sound system. I've got a, you know, I mean, like, I, it. We'll probably end up doing that. But I was hoping for like it coming out again. But I guess I missed yeah. that boat. But um, it might. No, but it's that's what definitely I was saying, something though. that I want to see. But, yeah. it, but w- this is what I would tell you though: if the choice is either there, there's a possibility. That they're going to release it again mm-hmm. to couple, you know, the second one. That's a possibility. When it probably have, it would probably be like select theaters would be playing it. Whether it's an AMC, you know, sometimes they do like those Fathom events and everything yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So that's possible. You mean in the next like week? It, essentially, yeah. one, one or two weeks, possible. Yeah. But what I would tell you is, you, what you're going to run into is if you don't watch it, then you're going to run into the same problem with number two. Number yeah. two, you. Definitely need to see it in the theater. Like, if you're going to sacrifice one to see on the small screen. Yeah. You know what I'm getting first. so annoyed about, though? All, all the people, and I get it, I've said this before, but all the people are like, you have to, have to, have to see this in IMAX. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh. yes, would I prefer to? Yes, but like, there's not that many of the IMAX theaters to tell audiences everywhere. Real like, IMAX, you, too. Yeah, to yeah. say, like, you have to see this in real IMAX. Like, no shit, Sherlock, it's better in real IMAX, but like, it's got to be good enough to just go to the movie theater. That it, has to be good it, enough. It 100% is. And that's so that's, I did not see it in IMAX. And again, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. I saw it, they, had, they, they screened this on the Warner Brothers lot and they screened it like, not like they're, you, they have like smaller theaters that they screen a lot of these things for, but then they have like the big, massive like movie theater, which I, last time I saw a movie theater there was when I worked at Silver Pictures. Oh, wow. And we went to the, they had a premiere there. I think it was like V for Vendetta or something. And we, Watched so they must have filled every single seat. That's why I wasn't invited, right? That's exactly right. In the massive theater, every seat was filled. But wait, right? Right. Yeah. That, that was like really early of opening things up too, right? June or no? Oh, June 2021. I was talking. I was, ta- I was oh, talking one. about two, this, but, but okay. no, 2021. I, I watched. I watched here. Yeah, because I, that's no. that's the. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It was there. It was in theaters, and people were telling me, and I was being pretty stubborn about it. I mm-hmm. can admit that. I was saying. I don't need to see it in the theater. I regretted not seeing it in the theater, especially after the second I knew it was coming out. Yeah. And and I went Winston and I saw it at the Burbank IMAX and it was worth it. Yeah, that was our plan. Our plan was to see it in the theater. I don't think we were ready to go out at the time yeah. and, you know. Wait. You did you went first and saw one. First the one. first one. Oh. Yeah, the first one. Not you know second. what just happened, right? Uh, you 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 would have walked out on uh, I yeah, actually I would have been so upset. Been, yeah, no, no. Oh. They, they didn't give me a plus one. <laughs> I swear, I swear they didn't give me a plus one. Um, Cause I'm like, I- yeah, I know. So there were. I at, love you, I, Warner Brothers. Pick me, choose me, love me. I sat next to Snyder. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> um, Why? I don't know, man. Maybe it's just. Uh, you know, uh, what a fall from grace I've had. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. Be the bad date and then no dune. Yeah, a I pissed date. in somebody's cereal. Did yeah, you? That's I, a, I guess. I don't know. I've come on too strong. Yeah, well, you got to play harder to get. Yeah, exactly. Don't start off shows the way you did. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I nope. did to Warner Brothers. Yes, <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe should have <laughs> never called you back. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, oh, well, I want to see this so bad. The reviews are insane, Christian. It, so that's that poison. That's this question. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is it that good? Yes. Um, I really was going. I was actually mad because Roxy wrote me and said, "I know." She goes, "No, you don't know what I'm about to say. You're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna dislike me for this." Um, Roxy writes me and says what the hell? And I said, yeah, they had the screening. And then I was like, don't worry. There's another one at seven. And I was like, because in my head I go, yeah, I definitely, there is a one at seven because I was going to stay. It was, what time was it? It was, it was 
one when I saw it. It's a three-hour movie. No, 10 when I saw it. So I was out by one. And I was like, oh, I'd have to stay from 1 o'clock until 7 in one, around yeah. Burbank. I can't do that. I was going to try to stick around for this to watch it again. And then when you wrote me and said, oh, there's another one at 7, I checked the email, and the other one was at 3. So, so I could have stayed. stayed. I could have. I could have. Oh yeah, that's so hard. For I know. You. It is and so that, like hard. Like I said, you're gonna you. hate me. Yeah. But I want that's. It shows the answer to the question. Is it that good? Yes. I. Mm -hmm. I was legit. I wanted to stay again. You're blown that's away. That's great. Rox, I haven't. It was almost like people said in the re, in the reaction. Like you could tell. Did you watch the reaction? No. No. You could tell like the my like the emotion just kind of it was like a wave that hit me and I audibly was like in the theater. I went wow. Nice. Right. Best and, movie of the year by far. Of the year, yeah. Best movie of the any of the big fran best sequel, best what? Like, it, it, I mean, so I don't, I can't, I don't, I won't call this movie a sequel. It it is a part two. Wow. It's not a sequel. Like it's it is a it is a second half of a movie. Okay, but don't be pretentious like that. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, no. but I mean, but I mean, in it the is, I mean, if I call it a sequel, that's that it's, can't be it's wrong. a movie. Well, no, you're not. Was wrong. it shot on film or it's was it right. shot? On but mm -hmm. what I what I mean Cinema. is that when people are like, well, what's better, the first one or the second one? It's like. It's really like asking what part of the movie is better. Is the first part of the movie better? Because it's a full movie. This is a full movie. Right, but you could say what be episode is better, the penultimate or the finale. Yeah, I mean, I sure. Not I mean, that this is a finale, but yeah, but when you if it's structured out for season one, mm -hmm. uh, sure. And um, this it's like it's three hours. It's like both of them together, almost like a six hour movie, and it is absolutely incredible. It's just incredible. And Zendaya, I always pronounce it wrong. Zendaya. Zendaya. Okay, I was pronounced. People were yelling at me yesterday for pronouncing it wrong. Zendaya. Um, she's the moment of the day. She's yeah. incredible. Yeah, she's She's great. incredible in this movie. She's so good. Timothy Chalamet is. You don't care about this, but her fashion tour of this. Did you guys see the robot outfit? No. Or any, oh, my God. I don't care about that. I just think that she <laughs> is like, oh, she's the it girl. She's great. And she got now that she has this new movie coming out, this Challengers movie that's probably going to definitely benefit from Dune. I don't know if uh, everybody knows, but I saw that there's a big star in this that people didn't know was in the movie. E kind of, but it's so brief. Oh, I think if that's so. If that's oh, which, which Kevin part? Spacey? Yeah. Who are you talking about? Can I say it? Well, I'll, I'll if it's a big spoiler, I I'll don't cut think it out. Let's say who? I, I read it. Yeah, it's 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 it. it, it He's in IMDb, and it's so it's oh okay, it's very brief. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. why was there somebody else? I but I, I was gonna say Christopher Walken, but he's he's been oh. billed, hmm. yeah. Christopher Walken is in it. There's Christopher Walken, Florence Pugh, um, Austin Butler is terrifying in this movie. He's good, yeah. Why Dave would you have in just a blip of a film? Is it is it I just just for another, with, uh, maybe? Yeah, I so that is the also. The yeah. yeah, maybe, but that's oh, also you the, needed sand the, preparation. The question was, are they going to do? Because this is, as I just mentioned, part one, part two is one book. I mean, it's the Dune book. Yeah, Dune Legacy is a whole other book. It's a whole other book. Different characters, you mean? No, I think it's the same characters. A lot of the oh. same the characters, but it's a different. But it's a. It's just not the same book. It's I guess that that would be to me like a. That's another movie. It's a sequel inside of the franchise, um, and I think have something to do there for sure, but. It is you haven't like, read either of these books, right? No, I have. I have. I, I've. Ke I keep wanting to. My daughter actually started watching or started reading the, the oh, first wow. one. She bailed. She bailed on it, but um, she read a lot of it. But I'm just telling you, like the 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 music, Hans Zimmer's score. It is shot wonderfully. It it's probably gonna be. I mean, it's. Mike was asking me, and my brother asked me this, and I'm sure you would eventually get to this question too. Well, Oscars death. It. The the conversation we had yesterday on the show about it was my because it was supposed to come out in November of last year. That would have opened it up for a chance to get a lot of stuff. It comes out it's in March first, which is tough because there's so many other things that come out. It's too close to my birthday. It's too close to your birthday. That's exactly what they I thought. overshadow. I know, um, but they uh, so I think cinematography should be nominated. I think Zendaya could be nominated. Timothy Chalamet could be nominated. Uh, Best picture? I, I think so. Best adapted S screenplay? I think so. Uh, well, it's, it's an adapted <clears throat> screenplay. It's from a book, right? Yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. adapted screenplay. Yeah. Um, it, it's a brilliantly written script. 
brilliantly written script. And Sting? It, Sting didn't? <laughs> no, Sting didn't show up oh, in this one. Oh, he didn't? He's not, not in this one? one. No. Wh- which character did he play in the Lynch version? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, you think he's one of the Harkonnens. But it's like, it's just so good. It's just like this kind of science fiction that I've been hoping for. And I think that it, the, the question I was going to, that was Top Gun Maverick, right? Like Top Gun Maverick was the other movie that I was like, mm. wow, this is an awesome movie. But they're so different movies in scale. Like this is a way more dense film and it's like when you leave top gun you're kind of like you know yeah, yeah. this one has considerably less high fiving yes less high fiving a lot of men less riding. less beach naked volleyball playing, uh, volleyball yeah um no but the, well i think uh, i think there's harkonnens have naked for sure yeah um yeah but do you have any particular questions about it that's not spoiling it as far as i is it 3 hours it's about 245 how does it feel incredible like every it, it need like it needed to be that long like it needed to be because there's like at one point I was like there, this has to be a longer movie and I was saying it like please be a longer yeah. movie because they're setting things up and if it ends now there's going to be so much so many questions I have so you don't think this should have been one movie no 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 way it, 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 what, they, there's no way I mean they could have cut it down yeah you would have missed out on so much there's not many things that I would have kind of cut out there's something sometimes you're like oh trim that back a little bit but like the big scenes when the big action scenes when they work they're earned who are the what are the three people who didn't like it what did they say like, is there any see. criticism let's, of yeah, it yeah 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 let's see all right so here are the negative reviews of dune part two and i'll see if i agree with any where they're coming from here this is three now again tomorrow this as of this filming there's only three nick newman from the film stage takes a good stretch of precious screen time for part two to play as anything other than a thoroughgoing checklist meeting obligation bolstered by obvious craft. What do you think about that? I think it's absolutely ludicrous. Oh, this one's coming from Hollywood Reporter. L- ludicrous. Let's see. Lovia Grigark. Never heard of him. Uh, or, or her. Not sure. Plagued by a nagging shallowness. Ugh, what? When it comes to portraying the Fremen, the film has difficulty fully embracing the nuance of Herbert's anti-imperial and ecologically dystopian text. No Way, no way. Again, your opinion, fine. No way. I thought that was done masterfully. It was done masterfully, and how that 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 whole thing, the politics behind in everything. Huh. Works really what about well. IndieWire one? So there's one more from IndieWire, and that is David Ehrlich, friend of the show. No, don't no? know. No, don't know. <laughs> not 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 a friend of the show. I just don't know who it is. David Ehrlich. Not only does this movie pick up exactly where the last one left off, it carries over the strengths and weaknesses that made the previous chapter so astonishing to look at, but stultifying to watch. Ooh, uh, sick burn. Yeah, his his, his pro- I mean, at least that one didn't seem to like. He just seemed to not love the movie. Yeah, but what I don't get yeah. there, the first two. So again, for people who don't know how Rotten Tomatoes works, is that means that that last guy. Even with that review, had to go under three out of five. Give it a C, it said. So right. So, but uh, wouldn't that be three out of five? Would be a C. Just maybe just around that. But like, so he's got to just be over that three. Uh, the other, I, I just strongly disagree with uh, with with all of those reviews. Mm. I just, it was to me one of one of the, my favorite theater going experiences. In a very Ugh, long time. God damn it! Yeah. Christian. Well, you're, are you gonna go? You're gonna go see it? Uh, uh, what next? the? F- I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're Where not would gonna you put it? it uh... when am I, yeah, I'm gonna. I guess, but like, when? How? What? If I'm not reviewing a movie now, if I'm not talking I, I know, about I know, it, I know. I know how it goes. It's yeah. like I know it goes, but I, I only do it when I really to spend four hours between getting there. More than that, five yeah. hours getting there. This and, movie, I'm not I would do that time. for. I will. I'm yeah. going to see you all in theaters. See Century City. I'm going to, I'm going to, but when do I have four, I know. a four and yeah, a half hour block in my schedule to go do that? I don't work, know. Right? Yeah. Midnight yeah. to four a.m. That's right. What were you gonna ask? I was gonna say compared to Oppenheimer, Ooh, what were you? Yeah. Oppenheimer is a very is a. Why great, is that the com- the comparison? well because we walked out of the theater like wow that was oh. a great movie and that was an epic one and I'm yeah. thinking of the IMAX thing. I was gonna say if I would have seen that on a regular screen, I still would have been blown away. I sure. don't think the IMAX was, you know, it was cool for me, but it wasn't. I don't think that's like you it adds, have to it see. It adds to it more than you think. Yeah. Um. But I agree. I understand what you're saying. Um. Yeah. I loved. I. I still remember. Oppenheimer. I think last year was the best film of the year. The best film. Mm-hmm. My favorite film of the year was Godzilla minus one. Um. So so far, young twenty twenty four. I think this is both my favorite film and the best made film nice. of the year. Of the year. Uh, I think that Denis Villeneuve is right up there with 
with Nolan. I enjoyed this one more than Oppenheimer, but it's also because you're playing in my sandbox with yeah. science fiction. You yeah, know, and quite literally. <laughs> for, 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 yeah. yeah, I didn't realize. Yes, <laughs> pun intended. Um, so if you hit, because I, this is the other thing I was I brought up on yesterday's show, is that we don't have enough sci science fiction out there right now, and that's why we did our whole show on this yesterday, of the state of Star Wars and where that is. And it's just like I'm just just kind of I'm just kind of disappointed with Star Wars right now, and this kind of scratched that itch of like, mm, this is what you're looking for, mm. and. Um, I want to see more of that. I thought Rebel Moon was going to be something like that. Yeah, too. that's what. See, we we saw that and we were super excited yeah. about it. You know, like a sci-fi fantasy like that, yeah. and that was a letdown. So I think I'm definitely going to watch this at home so I can see this one. We'll check go. first. Check first and see if they're playing Dune one. Yeah. I mean, what you don't want to do is see them back to back. You'll be in the theater for two days. Um, <laughs> but it's 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 that would just be fun though. Yeah, it, it could be. You it can make could, a whole day of it. You can make a whole day of it. I mean, I go get lunch. Come back. I might do it. I mean, I would do it. Um, it sounds I, like a, a Alamo <laughs> draft house kind of a thing where you got you know get some beers yeah. in there. They deliver you the food. Boom. Right. Um, anyway, so the answer is yes. It's that good. Nice. It really is that good. It is to me one of the um, one of the best movies I've seen in a very long time, and I'm probably gonna see it again very very soon. Um, Dune. Sneak it out. Maybe that. Maybe that's something. Dune. Maybe that's something. Maybe I'll go see it with you. I'm with that, see it with, with you very soon. We're gonna go that. We're Are you getting the route? pun that I'm trying to make? Yeah, it's not a pun. It's obvious what you're doing. You're saying doing instead of soon. Pun, puns are obvious. No. Oh. Okay. So let me get back yeah, to that I'd question. Yeah, like, I'd like so, to go. So if I went with you, would that open that up a yeah, little bit more? Yeah, okay. maybe. I, I think that would be fun. The um. I think today is when it's over. But did you see Real Rejects is doing a whole Dune two screening? Oh. On Sunday. Which is sick. I can't. Go? I cannot make it on Sunday. Mm. Oh. We have a we yeah, have a church. friend who I have a um, thing. Yeah, a uh, uh, oh yeah. A oh, thing. I, I, know, <laughs> I know where you're going with that. All right. Anyway, we have a friend. I have a thing. You're, you're a friend Call the guy. Mm -hmm. Ask the about questions. As vague as it gets. Okay. Little, so, little, <laughs> little, little deedle. Gotta see about little a girl. Fleets, <laughs> little little sheetle deedle. All right. Don Cheadle. I Don knew Cheadle. you were gonna go that way. You did. And, yeah, I knew <laughs> Fleetle Deedle, Chon Cheadle. You know. <laughs> you know me. Uh, noodle noodle the fifth Apple beetle Stewart. okay we have, how oh, about that Beatles. four movies the beatles are doing did yeah you, did you hear that wait I, I thought it was a series they're doing a movie they're doing four movies they're, they're, doing, they're calling it a series of the no they're doing a Ring, ringo movie they're doing wait a are Palm, you not talking about the same thing i'm talking about they, with, sam mendes yeah mm -hmm. sam doing a, a movie. oh they're calling it a series series that's what I, the the headline i didn't double even check back I, to i'm pretty sure right it's now. movies i'm sure it's four separate films you check that and i'm going to tell you guys before we do that i'm going to tell you both about our buddies over at fume and neutrophil tell you both about them right now let's talk about some habits because you guys know you got some habits and there's nothing better than beating a bad habit with a good habit and we've talked about fume before you guys you guys know we've talked about fume uh, we've we've had fume on and we're glad that they are back it's great and mark riley is the one who's really been talking this thing up and i can't wait for him to to talk about it even more so on the show um when he's on for uap and he's just talking about how flavorful it was better than he thought it feels very fresh and it's like a refreshing herbal tea but if it was vapor uh it, it was it, you can look at like sticky soda it's got non it's 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 really good it's it's well weighted it's perfectly balanced it's extremely fun to fidget with and it really look at the, the the wood itself it's it's great you can start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com slash big thing and getting the journey pack today Fume is giving listeners to the show 10% off when they use that code big thing to help make starting the good habit much easier because it's, you get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit that you're free to enjoy and it makes replacing your bad habit easy. It comes with adjustable airflow dial and it's designed with movable parts. It's great. They use flavored air instead of vapor. The Fume is completely, completely natural, by the way, instead of electronics. And there's no, this is the reason why I decided people are like, well, why, why would you, why would you get involved with something like this? Why? Because they don't use harmful chemicals. They use delicious flavors. And that's why I got involved. Fume works. They're great. So thank you again to Fume for sponsoring the show. Let me, let me tell you guys about Nutrafol. 
I'm going to tell you guys about Nutrafol. I'm very excited to tell you about Nutrafol. I've told you about Nutrafol many times over, and I've gotten people, and Nutrafol even said, like, we're, we're back because the audience is listening, and they're they're, they're checking it out, and they're, they're it, it's working. Because if you didn't know, did you know that 80% of men are going to experience hair thinning in their lifetime? Because it's normal. It doesn't have to be your fate. You can get ahead of it with Nutrafol. What is it? Well, it's a clinically tested hair growth supplement for men. A lot of times you blame genetics, but there are multiple things at play when it comes to hair thinning. So what is Nutrafol? It is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. You can take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. And for a limited time, Nutrafol is going to offer our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping. When you go to Nutrafol.com slash men, you got to enter that promo code big thing. You can find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com slash men. N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men. You got to enter that code big thing. Nutrafol.com slash men. Promo code big thing. Very excited to have them on board. All right. Once again, thank you to our friends over at Nutrafol and Fume. So glad to have them both on the show. And as I said, you know, you're breaking bad habits with good habits. It's worth it. Riley's been raving about that on our show. You guys have been trying it out. That's why they're back. Same thing with Nutrafol. We've had Nutrafol for a little bit. People have been checking out. I've been uh, I've been doing it for three weeks. Now. It? Yeah, yeah. You need yeah. more? Um, oh yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, I got some more. Yeah, for you. yeah. Okay, so Nutrafol fume link is in the description, and I tell you guys, and I hammer this down. Please, if you're able to, and you have the means to get one of our sponsors. It helps out the show so much. It keeps us going. It's the reason why we've been able to do the show for the last two years. Um, okay. Let's get to this next topic, which is very interesting. This is that Marvel stuff. All right. New details on Marvel's creative retooling. Marvel Studios, man. There's a new feature piece up at THR, Hollywood Reporter. It's gone into the details about the creative retooling of various projects at Marvel Studios following the failure of several of the company's works like Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Secret Invasion, the Marvels. Studios riding high on the huge numbers for the trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine, which saw 365 million watching it, and X-Men 97, which had the biggest trailer launch for an animated series on Disney Plus ever. Several new details have emerged from the article. First up, the planned reshoots for Agatha, Darkhold Diaries, were, were reportedly completed in just a single day, rather than the five days of reshoots normally scheduled as standard MCU works. Next, Eric Pearson, Thor Ragnarok Black Window, has quietly been hired to polish the script for the new Fantastic Four, which aims to shoot this summer. Marvel has also hired the Bear showrunner, Joanna Kalo, to Ooh. work on the script for Thunderbolts, which will begin shooting in March in Atlanta. One thing not so clear is if Kang the Conqueror will be minimized or dropped entirely. What is happening, though, is that the Avengers Kang Dynasty title has been ditched and marvel was already making movies to minimize the character after quantum media underperformed the tv side will give greater control to showrunners citing the way executive producers kyle bradstreet was sidelined on secret invasion as part of the reason one person who has commented on the changes is mark ruffalo speaking with gq the hulk star understands the fan exhaustion with marvel pumping out too much he said i think the explanation into streaming was exciting but the thing about marvel movies is you had to wait three years and that created a mystique three years Talking about like, wonders one a year. These corrections could be really positive things. Will it be what it was? I don't know. So much uh, to go- talk about. Tell me. Break well, it down. first of all, yeah. the Dark Hole Diaries, the Roxy Stryer Dark. story. <laughs> you were thinking the same thing. <laughs> she I, laughed to herself. I did laugh, oh, but not because I was thinking it was my diaries. Just it is, is it my diaries? Is that it, what you're... I think that to, like the way that you think about Mandalorian and Grogu, I think about Dark Old <laughs> Diaries. Like, eh, eh, I mean, yeah, sorry, it's I, not no. fun to say it right. <laughs> it's just it's so teenage angsty. Agatha, Dark Old Diaries. Mm, like, yeah. I'm telling mom, uh, that's a brutal title. It's not great. That's a brutal, I, brutal title. I prefer about, Agatha all along or whatever the other one they had. I, I, yeah, you know, wait, I oh, yeah they, wasn't that what it, I don't know what it is. But either, either way, I still understand the reasoning for that series. I just don't understand it. I don't understand I, it either. And I I'm love a, Catherine Hahn. But I don't need to know about her dark hole yeah. diaries. I don't, yeah. I don't have to know. No, I mean. One day of reshoots. What do you do in a day of reshoots? Uh, who knows? The only thing with this is that it's, it's still 
they've got to get past, and it's the same thing, all the different changes that they're making, cut budgets, do everything you have to do, but what they need to do is get past this multiverse saga thing. they got to get past this freaking thing. they got to get to X-Men. they got to get to Fantastic Four. And then to answer Mark Ruffalo's you know, statement of mm -hmm. I don't will know. it ever come back, it can if you, if you really just focus on X-Men and Fantastic Four. And get rid of everything else. And then people will be excited for things to come yes. back. But yeah, just right now. Who's excited for Agatha? Like, for real, nothing against Agatha. If it's Agatha, not me, excited? then who? Right. Yeah. Who's excited for that show? I mean, yeah. is, is that, and that's and that's what Mark Ruffalo was talking about. There used to be a time, like, it wasn't every three years. It was a movie literally for Marvel every year. Mm -hmm. But but even so, you're waiting for it, and you're like, what's the next big movie? What is, oh, man, I can't wait. It's like an event. And then these characters that they're coming out with, like, who cares? Like it's just like Secret Invasion. Nobody cared about that show. Uh, I did watch it. You watched it, but you didn't care about it. You were like looking forward to it. But Echo. the reason I didn't care about it was it wasn't good. Right. Mm. Well, so that's true. Also, that's like yeah. Yeah, they they had me. Right. Like I got me to watch, but it was not great. Right. And yeah. the X Men ninety seven immediately to me, I'm like, that seems odd. Like that's not too long. Oh God, that was thirty years. That was a long time. <laughs> like, trailer was pretty good. That would be like in '97 doing the X Men '67. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I know. I'm so I've, old. I, it, you start was, going down that path, you you lose your mind. I, mm. I've done that a couple different times recently. Talking to some of my um, interns this past week, and they were pitching things, and I was talking about, oh, okay. He said, I'm a big, big classics fan. One of the interns, I'm a really big go. classics fan, mm. and I was like, oh, like what? What are the classics? And it was like. The th friends, I yeah. mean, things that I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. what, yeah. what, what is, is that? The same Dupa Lipa crowd, crowd? Yeah. Well, the, 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 ne the next oh, did level. Did you hear this? Them. No, what? This is the best. She oh. was on a on a call with um with her interns, and she said she went to bring up Dupa Lipa, and she said Dupa Lipa. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the same reaction. And they thought I was so. Oh cool. man, that's, that's rough. I sent you that Wendy Williams video. This yes, week. Yes, so yes, I don't know yes. when that was from, but one of them had sent that to me yeah. as something, and I was oh, like, "Oh my god, so good." I love that we call her dupes, but um, but anyway, the Marvel she calls her Dula Peep. Dula Peeps, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dupa Leaps. I think ours is better. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I think that the Marvel thing, it's just Deadpool, as they mentioned. Deadpool's gonna be. Did you, did you see that trailer? No, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna go really? into it blind. I I I already like Deadpool. I, I wanna oh, I wanna. That trailer is really good. It's yeah. really good. Um, that one is gonna be the one that if they got to carry that momentum though. Do you think it's gonna make a billion dollars? Because I feel like it's going to. That's a good question. Uh, I think it's gonna do really well. I think that the trailer was awesome. Mm -hmm. A billion. They're having a hard time pulling those kind of numbers recently. So, I mean, I would be shocked if it's under 800. I have a bet with Roka that it'll go at least 750. I think 750. I, I would take the over on that for sure. Yeah. I have he the, took the under? He took the under. Well, mm. he would, he was originally say, he said 650, and I gave him 750. I mean, 650, I think there's no way. Yeah. How much do you think the movie costs? 250? Movie costs probably between 200. And 220. Yeah, probably 200. Hopefully. Yeah, I see this definitely hitting over 750. I would put it right at maybe like 850, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't know about a billion. I wouldn't fight you on it, but I don't know. It's only because one of the, I think that the excitement behind it and the fact that Guardians almost got there, right? And I think that three Guardians 3 got to like 750, 800, I think. So I, did you see that one yet? Yeah. Oh, you did see that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about um, something else. Then now, I, now when you called on me, I was thinking about it, and then I had to respond to that. How did Deadpool two do? <laughs> De they both Sorry. Did, they both yeah. did pretty good. Hold on, let me bring them up both numbers. Well, this is going back in that article, mm -hmm. but Ant Man and the Wasp was considered a huge failure or big disappointment, and I think that it it barely broke even or lost like lost money. You're talking about Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. Yeah. yeah. Did you like that or no? I so my stance on Quantum Mania is the same as it was when I came out of the theater and I said people are not going to like this movie. I going back to our earlier conversation. I had a, a feel oh. No, no, it was with my daughter. <laughs> but it, it was a science fiction yeah. feel and they switched it up and I was I was happy to see that. The ending is really bad. It's sloppy. It makes no it's 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 so it's just so chaotic that I'm like, uh, but I liked the swing that they took. 
But I knew immediately a lot of people were not going to mm -hmm. like that swing. And I still like that swing. I still like the fact that they went into this different realm. I thought it was cool. Um, I really liked that movie. Yeah, just I don't. The ending is the ending is enough for me to understand why it was so disappointing. Like the ending is bad, and it's and the main villain gets taken away by ants. It's ridiculous. Um, so well, it is an Ant Man movie. But this is supposed to be the next Thanos, and he was beaten. I, like I that. get it. I get the yeah. criticism. I just liked it. That's fair. Yeah. All right. So let's let me see Roxy's question. All right. The first Deadpool. First Deadpool was a smash hit. Cost fifty eight million to make, made seven hundred and eighty two million. Yeah, that is a smash hit. You think they made their money back? <laughs> and then some. The second doubled its budget and got to about one hundred and ten million, and it made seven eighty five. So, okay. bo so both of these movies have made in the seven range. Both Why would Roca think that this would do worse than one and two, adding Wolverine? No. Because, Just because, because of Marvel, well I think because right of the state of Marvel, and it was different times. So. I'm kind of, you know, without seeing the trailer, I'm kind of with them that I, I don't know. I mean, the first one, you know, I, that nobody wanted to make it, right? And then it, yeah. it, it just became a huge hit. The second one, again, they added some more money, still made, but this could not be great. I mean, like they, the they could. Awesome, yeah, the trailer is you know, awesome, the and they know awesome. so much is riding on this, and they, I think that they're is it, do does it cool. give away a lot of jokes? That's the only thing I don't want. to... I mean, there's a lot of jokes in it, but yeah. it doesn't. No, I found the trailer to be pretty serious, it, it, actually. There's okay, but I mean, they're, they're <laughs> but, but I mean, they, 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 <laughs> okay, but I mean, they it's definitely your there's, opinion, there's a serious yeah, tone, man. but the beginning of it is it's. But I actually did a great job of making it pretty vague. Yeah. Like, so it's... In um, this one. In this one. The next one, they're probably one of giving away a lot of stuff. What was the budget of this one? Sorry to make you keep doing yeah, no, research, right. but see. I'm curious because they have a chance yeah. of... I'll see if we find out. Yeah. So there's no um, there's no figure yet on how much it costs, what the rumor is. But I, I, I'm probably, you know, if you if the first one was 50-something and the second one doubled it... 58 to 110, probably 110, 220. So probably 220, yeah. probably going to double yeah. it again. Because, I mean, you got yeah. that Wolverine power now. But here's the conversation that we had yesterday. When there are certain movies that earn that kind of budget, right? I think this movie has earned it. If you're going to give it a $200 million budget, I still think they should have went for 150 because I think— Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Um, hey, Christian, were those numbers, though, based on— Didn't Deadpool get released, like, three times? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, they re re they re-released the one, the first one as like, like a, a Valentine's Day yeah. cut, right, right, right. When they had like Fred Savage doing that thing, yeah, but it didn't make like so much more that it would like another no, hundred just million. Curious. Yeah, I'm sure it did. In the same way that Avatar had and that all was those a PG yeah. that was a PG thirteen version, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, but it still counts for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but it's gonna Marvel's gonna need Deadpool to perform. Uh, okay, I'm so nosy. Yeah, go ahead. What? Oh, I just read a text of yours. Come in. Of mine? Yeah. What was it? Who's it from? It was from somebody awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna be. Yeah, he's mad at me. <laughs> Not mad at me, but he was. He didn't seem mad, but that that could be cool. Yeah, he's trying to get me to do something. I got to figure it that out. That could be cool. Yeah. All right. Listen. We got read it out loud. No, we got more TV. Mm -hmm. We got more TV coming up. Um, and we might have now. I'm just gonna talk about Beetlejuice, but we can talk about that some other show. We're gonna talk about TV coming up. But before I do that. I want to tell you guys about Magic Spoon. Here it is. I'm so excited to have Magic Spoon back. So you guys have said it. You said it to me lately. You go, hey, you lost some weight, man. You're looking good. I've been trying. My New Year's resolution was to cut back on sugar, add protein to my diet, and I stay on track with my fitness goals. So I was excited to get Magic Spoon back on the rotation. It makes it easy, and it's more delicious than ever now. Growing up, I love cereal. I, and not even just growing up. Recently, I've been trying. I, I've fired down sh uh, sugary cereal for a snack, and I, it, but the problem is when you get older, you got to watch out for those empty carbs because they they add up. Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors that you love, but it's got high protein and it's got less sugar. So for me, I did the protein shakes for a bit, but I wanted a, a delicious way to get my protein before and after workouts, and it's good for a snack. Variety pack, they have cocoa, they have fruity, they have frosted, they have peanut butter. I mix the uh, peanut butter and the cocoa, personally. This pack has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and about four to five grams of net carbs. There's only 140 calories per serving. High protein and zero grams of sugar. It's amazing. So if you go to magicspoon.com slash big thing, you can grab a variety pack and you can try it today. So be sure to use our promo code BIGTHING at checkout to save $5 on your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. It's backed with 
a 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it, any reason, they're going to refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, start the new year off with a great, delicious bowl of high-protein cereal at Magic Spoon dot com slash big thing and use the code big thing to save five dollars off that's magic dot com slash big thing all right as i told you roxy i'm officially 20 pounds lost 20 pounds christian that's sick so 20 pounds that's sick and i will tell you that magic spoon has helped because when i get hungry and i'm like what am i gonna eat something at eight mm-hmm. o'clock at night i hate my magic spoon have you uh have you been you know, i love magic it's, spoon. It's it, and and i've I have legit the ends of all of them that the kids that yeah. always leave out. I've mixed all three of them together I and eaten them before. Dude, that's awesome. my. That's what I have to stop doing though. I got to stop mixing the cereals and yeah. running out of them so fast um, because I mixed the peanut butter and the chocolate. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I don't have anything left. So you animal, you've been eating everything. At the it's same a double. Time. It's it's tough because it's almost a two bowler. You yeah, know, you it's go, true. It's but it's all protein. Mm. It's all protein, which is so good. And that's that's the whole point. Right here. So it's really good. Oh, yeah. People keep asking me on. Line if I'm pregnant, I can I have some once. of this, please? Mm-hmm. No, it didn't happen once. Oh, it happened. I've gotten it like ten times in really? the last month. Yeah. Pregnant? What? It... I don't know. I don't feel like I've gained that much weight at all. But I apparently I need magic spoon, so hook it up. Okay, no problem. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so that Instagram feed was hilarious. Is that um, she had you know, she was talking about all these these comments that people are coming in, and then one guy was talking about uh, he's like, I really like you on on Christian's <laughs> show. She's like, I like you on that show. He's like, the only thing I don't like. Is when that that chipmunk comes in, <laughs> and and Roxy's like, you know, it's not me doing the voice, right? She, oh. And he goes, he goes, yeah, I know, but I, it's weird when he does it. I don't like it. He needs to stop. And I wrote back, no. It's my favorite. When you do. I wrote back, no. And to his credit, he tagged you. He he, he tagged you in the post. Right? He, tag, he tagged me, and then but he also wrote back with a laugh after yeah, yeah, I wrote yeah. back to him too. So I have no I have no beef with the guy whatsoever. But I'm like. No, if you don't get the comedy of it, I'm not mm-hmm. telling you you need to like it, but it's like, no. it's weird. Don't do it. It's like, no, it's my show. My Sally. name's on it. Hey, Roxy. <laughs> I heard that someone on Instagram don't like me. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people on Instagram who don't like you. Well, they ain't reading. They don't know I starred in a comic book. Did you know that? I starred in my comic book. I had a comic book. What'd you do in the comic book? Oh, you got to read it. I was, I had, I'm not lying, had my nuts on Steph. <laughs> On her? Yeah, on her head. Right on her head. She said, in the comic, she said, can you get your nuts off my head? <laughs> For real? Yeah. I ain't kidding. He just, this motherfucker knows. This is the only fans going? Uh, big no. balls, yeah. you are not the father of Roxy's baby. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, now I can go to Vegas. Perfect. Stints. Uh, on Stints. Her head. I gotta see it. What's that? <laughs> Big ball said once we had he Brett was, going. He said he was gonna he had to hook up a, with a hippo, right? Uh, rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. So, so, Brett, wait, you want to ask him a question? You ask yeah. Me? Hey, Brett, I heard you liked uh, you. You like my last adventure, last story. Uh, I got a new one for you. Oh yeah, what's yeah. what's what's that? What do you, what do you, I fucked a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Oh yeah. How you do that? Stints. Stints. I was, but this time I used a pogo stick. <laughs> And I said, jump with me, mama, jump with me. And she would jump in, and I said, oh, look at that, target practice. <laughs> and then I kept aiming. Sometimes I hit, sometimes I hit a tree. I bounce back off, I shake myself off, and then I got to fucking... <laughs> Jesus. Huh. Big balls, come on. Hey, hey, come on. This guy asked. He asked me a question. I have questions about kangaroos anatomy. Oh, please, tell mm. me. Well, what no, you want I'm, to know? I'm genuinely curious about, like, do they have penises and vaginas? Not the one I was with, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the hole? It's under the. No, he just. He's gone. He did the pouch. Yeah, he's did the pouch. Is the hole under the pouch? Or no, in I'm. The pouch? Yeah, he got carried in the pouch. I'm pretty sure. I think the anatomy is the same as ours. But where is so. the pouch? And the, then the pouch no, is listen, like here. You got to get out of here since we need to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get to some TV stuff. Roxy's got TV shows for us. Roxy. Here we go. Let's start with this one. We had the finale of True Detective Night Country. Did are you caught up on no, this? No, I'm, I'm I'm still I'm still uh, four four episodes. Okay, so I won't tell you what happened. Yeah. I'll just tell you that this really worked for me. I heard the creator of the show loved it. Loved <laughs> Nick. Nick the, 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 didn't you hear this whole controversy? No, he hated it. Oh yeah, I thought you would know. You how do I know about I don't this know. thing? I'm not surprised because it's not an it's not a True Detective finale. Well, so he. Some fans were like tag. I think it was pretty petty what he did, but the fans were were tagging. It's like an him. Alan Moore situation. I don't know. I guess, but the fans were tagging him about how it just it, it, he was missed and he shouldn't. They shouldn't have 
done the show without him and he was like re reposting it on instagram and it was just like it was just petty yeah that I, is yeah uh this is a this show has a lot of supernatural elements to it this season and oh, yeah. that makes it not fully in line with the other mm -hmm. true detective seasons i thought it was an excellent series and i thought the finale stuck the landing for the show that they were doing which was not a true detective show really it was okay. a show about detectives right just with the name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, but it worked for me. Okay. Next one. Oh, I just love Master of the Air so okay. much. And I have Grammy and Papa watching this. And yeah, me, yeah. it is just so cool to be able to watch them. And I'm stopping every little bit. I'm like, Papa, did they get that right? Like about mm -hmm. partying and about different aerial shots and whatever. And and even yesterday, Grammy was like, I can't believe that you did this every day. You know, like you're watching how they get in the planes and yeah. everything they do. And it's just kind of unbelievable. Uh, this show's really heartbreaking, though, yeah. which I'm kind of curious after this most recent episode where they're going to go from here. I'm going to, yeah, I, gotta, I, gotta, I am going to revisit that one. I will, I promise. I let you do this one. I'll let you slip this one. In. Are you not watching it? <laughs> nah, I okay. Can't. I can't. The Dynasty, it's on Apple TV+. Plus. This, this network doesn't miss, and obviously the show is made for me, but I really do feel like it is made for sports fans. Yeah. It is so good. We're two episodes in. Uh, what I will say is my favorite part is watching Drew Bledsoe talk about Tom Brady and from Drew Bledsoe's perspective, what happened when he got injured and he thought he was coming back to the team and he was the the decision was made by Belichick that he was starting yeah. Brady. It I am like just I'm I am completely in love with the show. I think it does give its flowers to everybody de that deserves yeah. flowers, but also you think about just like there's so many things that happened over 20 years. There's yeah, so I, many I, moments. I, I probably will check it out because I'm sure they're going to cover the giant stuff. So I, that absolutely. That, so so I'll watch it for that. No, I I will watch it. I absolutely will. You know what I wound up watching sports wise last night? The 30 for 30 Ric Flair documentary on Ooh. ESPN. Holy shit! It's I was I was I was like in tears by the end of it. Yeah, the 30 for 30 do a great job. That obviously. was nuts. So anyway, but yeah, but you're right. I think I'm gonna check out this the Patriots. It, one. I'll they're check it doing out. a really interesting yeah. job, and I and Tom Brady. I will say for people, Tom Brady's not on the screen the entire time, so it's yeah. not like it's just him the talking about his show, thing right. and his, it's mm -hmm. it's talking about the whole Patriots yeah, yeah. dynasty. All right. All right. Who's this? Taylor Tomlinson is one of my favorite comedians. This oh. is her third stand-up on Netflix, uh, Have It All. And it is, I think, she's super, super, super engaging and good. She is um, DPC, Dead Parents Club, like me. She talks about that often. She's single like me. So I do think that I have yeah, a unique, like, her, I yeah. really relate yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah. So she's definitely my type of comedian. She's thir in her 30s right. now. Yeah, and the same way that Brett, like, relates to, like, George Clooney. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, yes, the big, a big through line of this is, like, can you have it all? And she's like, well, I have my career, and I'm, but I'm single. And I'm like, okay. girly, I feel you. Uh, except for the fact that I'm not as famous as she is. So oh, well, 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 she's already got a, a, a late night uh, network show. Oh, does she? Yeah, yeah. She's on after, uh, who is it? Uh, Colbert? I don't even know that. No, or, yeah, maybe. Oh. No, she's got this show, and it's it looks funny. It's like uh, what is fill it? in the blank kind of comedian, you know, like oh. kind of a, yeah, it looks well, good. Look, wow, I, I she's really heard, good. I yeah. just heard of her and that's, five minutes ago. And that's big for me, because she's, I mean, I just started watching her, stuff. Well, it's been like two, three years, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. She's oh. rel I mean, she did uh, midlife, so I think at 25 was her first and now she's okay. 30 she's right. very funny All right. oh this show absolutely gutted me this is based off that movie right i don't know the it's based off hathaway? books yeah Anne hathaway and uh there's a movie yeah and what jim oh, sturgis Princess diaries no jim sturgis and uh and Anne hathaway were in the i know the... it's a series of books or a book oh, let, me, let me make sure that's true hmm. yeah it was a movie with Anne hathaway and jim sturgis no it wasn't no, that's... oh is that are we i didn't that? see that did you see the movie I remember the movie. Yeah, it was pretty pretty depressing. This, I think that or this sad. this show blew me away. Hmm. It's fourteen episodes. They're uh, like thirty the five thing? minutes each. Yeah. Wow. Um, I watched the whole thing in two days. Jeez. Wow. It was because this is it's like a every episode is a different year. Okay. So it follows the relationship of Dax and Emma, who uh -huh. are best friends. Yes. And starts with them when they're teens and ends up with them in their 30s. And it is like watching the evolution of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I just thought they nailed it. it this could have gone cheesy, corny, could have felt like a Gossip Girl 90210, but it didn't. It felt like 
a link later movie or something. Okay. I thought that it was a really, re they did a beautiful job. The performances? The performances were wildly good. This okay. guy is the guy from White Lotus. Mm. Um, so he's got some heat on him right now. I thought she was phenomenal too. I was really, really taken back with how much I love this one. Okay. Yeah, I remember thinking the movie was decent too. Uh, next one. Vince Staples show is a show that Netflix recommended to me and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll come back to this. And then I saw a couple of critics that I like saying that it was really funny and kind of in the vein of like um, a Dave or a Atlanta mm -hmm. or uh, Louie or Curb or any of the uh, stars that are already stars that kind of have their own shows around them. And so I watched the first two episodes. They're short. Good. They're like 25 minutes. Yeah, I'm definitely into it so far. I'm trying to figure out what the tone is in the same way that it take, took me a minute to kind of figure out what the tone of Atlanta is mm. or what the tone of Rami is mm. or Dave. It's kind of like, huh, we we start in uh, jail oh. and then the second episode's uh, like a comedy about a bank robbery. But so we're, we're kind of all over the place, but he's really engaging and endearing. And I think that I would kind of just follow him through all different exacerbated situations. Okay. So, or exaggerated. Yeah. Exacerbated? Whatever you exaggerated. want. Exaggerated. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That works. I like it so far. Okay. Will you be, will you, one of these things you have to do, you've got to, because you have Peacock, right? Yeah. You got to, one of these days, especially now with the way that the ratings are and how much they're in the pop culture, you got to watch one of the wrestling events. Mm. You got to. Mm. I would love to. I would. Elimination Chamber is this Saturday. Can you cover it for next week? How long is it? I think Elimination Chamber is. I mean, you could always skim through some of it too. You know, Are you gonna watch? It. I'm watching it. Yeah. I'm why watch do you? It. I'm watching um, it with my with my little one. Why do you refuse to watch the new Perry Mason? Oh yeah. I I, I don't refuse. I've 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 suggested one show to you. Here's my. You guys know. So I I have watched 24 shows this see this year so far. Yeah. Week. This week. <laughs> No, he said week. <laughs> week sauce. Oh, oh, like W. I thought you meant W E E K. That would no. have been uh, very, uh, very apropos. I, apropos. I'm the, Christian's offer is more engage yes. is more engaging to me because, or is is more likely because I'm trying to watch shows from this year. Perry Mason mm. is not this year, right? And it's yeah. also and it's also in the it's in the in the the uh, pop culture zeitgeist right now. The uh, one I want to watch so bad is Dark because of you. Oh, and, yeah. But that's the one that I have I have to figure out when I'm going to do that. Oh. that. Dark Dark's like you got. I mean, yeah, and and, and it's if you're trying to catch up to shows from this year. This year, year I, mean, I know. Like I haven't started Expats yet, which is next on oh, my right, list. Right, so right. I'm I, for next so week. I'm going to try to do there. Expats. No, yeah, Dark had another one, right? There was well, they had another. The creators had another one that came out that. Yeah. Didn't stick around for that long. The one on the boat, I can't remember what it was, but people were saying it was pretty good, but it got canceled. Lonely Island? No, that's dumping. I'm on a boat. Oh, it was like, yeah, it was all on a, like a, like a sinking, sinking boat. Or yeah, so, yeah. I can't remember exactly what it was. Titanic. Mm. Stop this. Stop. It was called Stop My this. Dark Hole. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the Agatha <laughs> story. <laughs> the Agatha story. <laughs> anyway, that's the show. That's what we're doing today. Thank you for joining us here today, and thank you for being part of the conversation. Roxy Stryer, where can they find you? Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. I am going to thank be... You, Brett. Someday one of the sketches I have will <laughs> go up on oh. Above Board TV. Um, I got some stuff from New York they haven't dropped yet because they're dropping all the Iceland things, but um, and then I'll be on, uh, hopefully coming out pretty soon. We we're just, we started Above Board uh, uh, podcast. So, oh, okay. You know, just working, working. Well, there you go. So speaking of work and. We're working towards 200,000, guys. We're at 129,226 oh. as the time of this recording. So if you can hit that button, it helps us tremendously. I have my Dune review up right now. I'm going to have the spoiler review up probably, you know, obviously the week of release. And Roke and I are going to be doing a spoiler discussion live. So make sure you join us on March 3rd, Monday, March 3rd for Beautiful that. Day. So. Brett's birthday. So <laughs> thanks for joining us. Kate's Appreciate birthday. you guys. Oh, yeah. See you later.